G'day and welcome to Country Life on the Coast. Today we're continuing on with our fencing project. And what that will entail is installing a fence along this property boundary straight down here. And if you've seen us removing the barbed wire fencing episode, we'll, we'll now be replacing it. So this fence line, I'm gonna try something a little bit different than what we've done out the back. If you've seen the other episode, you, you'll know I've just done typically of what you do, of drill a hole, stick a fence post in, put the top rail on and install the mesh. I was thinking about it because I was wasting a bit of timber on the top rail each time. So I'm gonna try just for a few lengths anyway, uh, and I'll start down the back end of the property is I'll cut out, notch out the top rails first and just lay them on the ground and that'll show me exactly where the post should go. So I think I'll give it a go and I'll still have my string line out so I'll make sure we're putting them in the right spot but just the length should be right then. I think it's worth giving it a go for a couple of the posts. We'll see how it looks and see if it's going to work and if it doesn't well we'll revert back to the old way and if it does well we'll continue on. So if we're going to see how much we can get done today the rain is starting. Um, anyway, we'll run the string line out, at least get that tight and go from there. So I've run the string line out. I'll just show you it going off down there. So this is the fence line. It's about 80 meters long. So we have our top rails just laid out here and I've gone through and you can just see the orange paint. I've marked out where my holes have to go. So it's time to start drilling. Have the braces on the posts hopefully the posts are in the right spot so we'll now mark the tops and cut them off and put the top rail on and then we should be right to concrete them so let's see if this works the top rail screwed on and it did actually work better than I thought it might actually I was really worried that from measuring out where the posts were going and drilling it and already having cut these and notched them that I would have uh, made a big error or something and so I was pretty concerned that this wasn't going to work it has worked um, but I think I'm going to go back to the old way probably the proper way of doing it and so I'm just going to measure out my just under 2.4 meters each time, mark it and drill holes there. So I'm going to drill a few more now and uh, then it's late in the afternoon. So I think tomorrow morning I might try and get up and concrete these in. Um, and if I've got some more ready to go as well, that might be good. So I tried it. Um, it did work, thankfully. I'm not confident enough to keep going this way though. We'll move on, we'll continue on, we'll drill a few holes now and keep building this fence. The 
batteries are charged so we're right to keep drilling some holes I've found that drilling these holes with the Ryobi is uh, chilling through the batteries quite quickly so my plan of attack this morning is to start drilling some holes we'll flatten one of the batteries and then I'll install the bracing and the posts ready to go and then I'll basically drill another hole or two before that battery dies as well and then we'll do some concreting and concrete in the post we've already got ready and whatever else we've got so I think we'll get into it enjoy the sunshine that's just a beautiful day today so eh, it's a good day to be working outside we'll get to it Well guys, we've been progressing quite well. You've seen a few top rails go on and you probably just saw the one go on and then get removed. And that's because I've done it again. I've tried to make sure I didn't do it, but I have. 
So some of the spacings are going to be a bit more than 2.4 meters from center post to center post. I don't know how I did it. I thought I measured everything right, um, and it's not. So that one I've removed was because I was just using the measurement and not adding on the extra bit I need for taking into consideration that, that this next space that I was working on is too big. So uh, I was able to use that down the back um, or further down this fence line, I should say, so that's okay. Uh, so I went and screwed that on down there. So we'll continue on uh, measuring twice and cutting once, I think. I think that's an old rule that people say and yeah, measure more often certainly. Just adds time and confusion, but oh, the bit we've done so far, it looks good, happy with it. We just need to uh, pick up the pace a bit um, and yeah, get this done a bit quicker. But we'll get there. Well, there we go, guys. After lots of digging, concreting, cutting, sawing, we've got this fence, uh, all the posts and the rails installed. Now to roll the mesh out and uh, install the wire mesh on here as well. Fairly happy with it. Um, a little bit disappointed on a couple of spots where I did those measurements wrong again and had to work about the length of this top rail. I should have been I don't know. I should have taken more care. I thought I had it down pat this time, but anyway, I was able to work around them, but yeah, still not ideal. Um, we've still got the front fence to go, and ultimately we'll do the other side as well, so <laughs> uh, there's still a long way to go. But anyway, little by little, we're getting there. This one looks okay, but there's a couple of spots where it's up and down, and that just seems to be because I followed the lay of the land, and there's a few high spots and low spots, so I don't know. I don't know if my um, height measuring tool is a good idea or not. We'll roll the mesh out, have a look, attach it, um, and see how we go. See how it looks once we've done it all from there. So, time to just clear the site and roll some mesh out.
we've done it. We've got all those top rails on and we've got that wire mesh all installed. She took an effort today, but we got it there. It's good to have a goal and to actually achieve it. Doesn't happen that often, but hey, <laughs> we get there. Oh man. So 80 meters of fencing done down this side rail. A couple more sections still to go, but yeah, we'll keep chugging away. Well, that's all we've got time for in this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that like and subscribe button. That'd be great. And we'll catch you next time. God bless.